At the beginning of this century, Harris Interactive, the originators of the Harris Poll, conducted a survey of 23,000 U.S. residents who were employed full-time in key industries and key functional areas. They came to some pretty shocking conclusions. You ready? Here it is. Only 37% say, said they had a clear understanding of what their organizations were trying to achieve and why. Only one in five was enthusiastic about their teams and organizations' goals. Only one in five workers said they had a clear line of sight between their tasks and their teams and organizations' goals. Only half were satisfied with the work they'd accomplished at the end of a week. Only 15% felt that their organization fully enabled them to execute key goals. Only 15% felt they worked in a high-trust environment. Only 17% felt their organization fostered open communication that's respectful of differing opinions and resulted in new and better ideas. Only 10% felt that their organization held people accountable for results. Only 20% fully trusted the organization they worked for. And finally, only 13% had high trust, highly cooperative working relationships with other groups or departments in that same organization. Now, the great commentator on organizational culture, Stephen Covey, used a brilliant analogy to drive home the full impact of this poll's findings. He wrote, if, for example, a soccer team had these same scores, then only four of the 11 players on the field would know which goal was theirs. Only two of the 11 would even care. Only two of the 11 would know what position they play and know exactly what they're supposed to do. And all but two players would, in some way, be competing against their own team members rather than the opponent. He goes on to ask, can you imagine the personal and organizational cost of failing to engage the passion, the talent, the intelligence of the workforce? It's far greater than all the taxes, interest charges, and labor costs put together. Now, Covey's quite, quite right when he characterizes this as the obsolete mentality of the industrial age, as a dysfunctional management paradigm that treats people like things and which fails disastrously in the modern age of the knowledge worker. While we all know that this obsolete paradigm still cripples large sections of our own, own economy, the question is, why is this the case? Why do we persist in what obviously doesn't work? Author John Gardner may have the answer. He writes, most ailing organizations have developed a functional blindness to their own defects. They're not suffering because they cannot resolve their problems. They're suffering because they cannot even see their problems. So you can ask yourself whether your own organization or any organization you've worked for in the past had developed this kind of functional blindness. Because inevitably, as a society, we clearly have to move on from this obsolete industrial age paradigm or face the consequences. I'm Dr. Simeon Roger. We'll talk to you again soon.